Maybe it's not going to work this time. Oh dear, that workout doesn't count then, no. no. All right, good morning to those of you who are joining us. Hey, O'Malley Cat. Um, and Danny, hi. Kerry, good morning again, lovely ladies. So as people are coming on to join us and have a little look, see as what's going on. Hi, Alison. Um, this is gonna be just a really short, five minute kind of length um, sofa stretch, okay? Because many of us are spending a lot of time on the sofas. Dun, da, 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 da. Like this. Okay, so we're spending a lot of time on sofas. It does mean that we are less mobile and less active. But I do also know that there are a lot of people who want to move more, but struggle. And um, even some of the stretches that we do that are quite gentle stretches because they're down on the floor, some people struggle to get down there. Um, so this is a option for the move with me gentle stretch options now even if you are more flexible the way that I'm going to do these so the the repeated movements are still going to benefit everybody so even if you are quite capable of coming down to the floor so for instance me I'm hi Izzy I'm a very bendy person okay um, I could put my toe to my nose if I wanted to right now um, so I am a bendy person, yet the workout that we're doing here, which is much more gentle, is still really beneficial for myself because of the way that we're moving. Okay, so we're gonna stretch, we're gonna do work in this Move With Me session with um, through the back, through the spine. Now, with the spine, you'll either find that bending forward feels better or extending feels better and it's really worth you listening to your body as we do this program to see which one is more preferable for you because if you are doing the forward fold for instance the bending forwards and you think that that is more preferable it eases your back pain that you have then it is very indicative of where in your spine not the spinal cord but where in the uh, a bony structure of your spinal column, the vertebra, where the problem lies. So if you're doing forward folding and you're like, oh, do you know what, that's really easing my um, backache or the pins and needles that I did feel in my toes has kind of disappeared and it's worked its way back up and I can just feel it in the back now. That's a really positive sign. So it gives you an indication of the things that would be beneficial for you. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is, Chris is literally, I, I'm just going to stay here, I'm going to talk to you. Chris is my move with me model this morning <laughs> and he's going to do all of it. So if you guys are joining with us, all you need is your sofa. <laughs> you do need to be able to touch the floor with your feet. Uh, I don't know if people's sofas tend to be much higher. Most people's sofas tend to be quite low, like that one looks quite low for you, doesn't it? Yeah, it's quite but low sofa. Yeah. I, it, for me, for being a short person, it, perfect height really so my legs tend to be parallel all right so get yourselves at your sofa the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to extend the legs out now Chris is away from the back of the sofa so he's moved away now if you are unable to do that so you need support your trunk control isn't that great or there's a medical reason you've had a stroke you have a neurological disorder something that makes you a little bit unstable and you need support that's fine to do all of these with either a carer next to you or with cushioning around you. So that's fine as well. Just make sure that you are safe. So extend your legs fully, please. So legs extended, hands on top of shins. I want you to start by dropping your chin to your chest. You'll find that your back rolls just a little bit. Now inhale, lift the chin. Don't look up, just look straight ahead. So you're looking directly back at us. Exhale, roll the chin to your chest and inhale, lift the head. Exhale, roll the chin to chest. Now we're gonna do this about five or six more times. We're just lifting the chin so the chin is parallel to the floor and your gaze is literally directly in front of you. Good. Let's go for about two more of these. And at any point, if you're feeling particularly stiff, so you're doing this and you're thinking, actually, do you know what? I need a bit more time here. Then stay there. 
don't move on if you don't need to because you can always re-watch this a little bit later. Okay, now inhale, lift your chin up. As you exhale, I want you to slide your hands just to the mid shin. If you can't get to the mid shin, and inhale, come back up. If you can't get to the mid shin, don't worry. Come down as far as feels comfortable. Exhale and roll. Where are you feeling that, Mr H? So for me, it's in my mid, middle of my back. Yeah. And, uh, middle of my back to my lower back. Okay. Because that's why I'm always tight. Are you getting anything in bum or legs? So I'm getting a little bit of a hamstring stretch. So depending on where your body feels tight, so keep moving, wherever your body feels tight, you're going to feel it all in different locations. So this move here is great for back problems, okay, lumbar spine problems, back, lower back ache, if it's a certain type of back ache. Um, it will help loosen up the muscles there anyway, but it's also great for anyone who's tight through the butt cheeks and also the hamstrings, so the back of the thighs. And we're doing repeated movements here. So coming up, we're going to aim for about 10 repetitions of each of the movements that we're going to do this morning. How many is that, Mr. H, do you know? It's about 10 for me. Oh, yeah. get on. Okay, so sit yourselves up. Now, we are not done with forward fold, but for a moment, we're going to extend backwards. And to do that, we're going to play, I'm going to place a cushion behind Chris's back. So if you have a cushion, place that cushion, and he's going to now inhale, sit tall, Exhale, lean back onto the cushion. Good. He looks a bit like a, a board, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, how does that feel? All right. It's good. It's not too big a stretch, no? No. No? It's okay. It's not a big arch, but it is a lengthening through the spine. And you're just going to stay here. And as you do, take a couple of really deep breaths. As you're breathing, become aware, is there any area in your body that is particularly tight? And if it is, breathe into that area, breathe into the lower back, the hips, the butt, wherever. And as you exhale, imagine those muscles are releasing. That mind over matter is very, very valuable in helping to release some tight and tense muscles. How are you doing there? Good. You ready to sit up yet? Yeah. Okay, so come on back up. I have the best way to do that. It depends, if you've got core control, you can sit yourself up normally. Otherwise, use your hands, press down into your cushions and sit yourself back up. Okay, so we're back into forward fold. This time we'll wanna go a little bit further. So, as you go down, inhaling, sitting nice and tall and as you sit tall imagine that someone's got a string at the top of the head and they're pulling you up, okay? So again, aiming for about 10 of these. So we are doing these on the sofa this morning but you know what, you can do them standing and if you have a lower back ache and you have discovered that forward fold feels good or back extension feels good, repeating about 10 times to start with is a good place to begin. You can then increase it. How's that doing? Yeah, good. One of the things I always forget to do, and I think I mentioned it last night in, in the stretches at the end of the routine, is I always forget to tuck my chin down. Yeah, you do a turtle head, don't you? Mm. So I keep, I normally have my head up. Whether, mm. whether that's an instruct, instructional thing, because I want to see wanna anybody. You want to look at people. But just by dropping my chin, that stretch comes on so much greater. Mm. And it's so much different. It's it's like um like a kind of like a lever, I suppose. It's a bent lever, but it's like a lever that's so dropping the head increases the tension in many places, the muscles, but also the nerves as well. How many have you done there? About seven, I think. Okay. So at the moment we're going with the breath. Okay. What we are gonna do in just a minute is increase our speed 
I wouldn't recommend you increase your speed with your breath because you're probably going to hyperventilate and we don't want to be doing that. How's that feeling in your back? Yeah, really, really stretching it up. I can yeah. really feel the tightness. And so more, this time more into mid to upper back. Mm -hmm. And do you feel that you're going further with yeah. ease than before? Yeah, totally. When we did the first lot, I, I actually thought, crack, I'm struggling to get to mid, mid, mid in the shins. But now, yeah. just, just from doing those. Yeah, and hopefully at home you are too as well, because we're utilising the breath and we're being very mindful of the body, so we're prepping the body for the moves that are to come. Okay, so we've done the forward fold. Again, we're going to go back into extension. This time... As Chris leans back, I want him to take his arms up overhead, really extend that stretch. How does that feel? Oh, that's lovely. So you're going to feel that across the uh, abdomen as well. I can feel that. Crikey, I can feel that stretch in your abdomen. Um, really stretching across the abdomen as well as the arch through the lower back. And it should feel quite nice. Does that feel good? Yeah. Yeah. I think if I, if I had... A little bit more cushion behind my back that would that would make the back a little bit more do you know what i mean so i would oh yeah so for, so for me my problem is always my lower back so the more i can get the more doses through that spine i guess technically all right here we go so yes so straight away there oh that's great that's a brilliant stretch that's what <laughs> i need oh I'm just going to stay here. You're going to stay there. He's going to stay there. You guys are staying there in a stretch. Now, with this stretch at the moment, with the extension, we are extending and holding, but we are going to bring movement into that in the exact same way that we've been doing in the forward fold. And like I said, you will find an area, the fold or the extension is more preferable to you. How are you doing? Mm, good, good. Okay, so we're going to do one more set of forward folds. This time we're going to go a little bit quicker and we're going to do more of them. Okay, so use your breath, let your breath be natural, however you feel right. And do move the body in a way that feels comfortable. So if you are super tight, don't push too far down. Okay, so as you roll, roll the chin to your chest, rolling through the spine and at the end range, so as far down as you can go, I want you to give it just a little bit further press. How does that feel? Yeah, nice. Okay, come down. How does that feel? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stay down as you go down. How does that feel? Yeah, tight. <laughs> right through my lower back. <laughs> That's just a little bit of overpressure there onto your stretch. So I provided Chris with a bit of overpressure just by pressing onto his back, just at the end range there, just pressing it down, really extending it. You can do that to yourself as well by gently pressing forwards. Oh, we have a parcel to go through. We do. Okay, now, how many was that? Was that about 10? Yeah, Can you do another 10 for me, please? So you're gonna do extra here. So you're gonna do a lot more. As Chris is doing that, I'm just gonna say hi to the postie. Yeah. How's everyone doing at home? Yeah, good. Maybe okay, not. now, final move for the back. Are we ready? Yeah. We're going to do an extension, but this time we're going to add extension repetitions, okay? Yeah. So to do that, you want to tuck your feet in towards you. So I'm going to just kneel here, just up, so you can see. Your hands are going to be, so you'll be sat, your hands will be here. You're going to lean and come up, lean and come up. So you're going to put yourself into a back extension. So... Chris has done something that I know lots of people will do. He has instantly levered. So we don't want to lever, we want to curl the back. Does that feel different? Yeah. Yeah? So it's a quite, lever... It's harder. It's it harder is. to do because you, you, you in, you, your instincts just want you to lean back. Yeah. So Chris, lean back, start with. That feels nice, it's good. Mm. But what we're trying to do is we're keeping the pelvis stable and we're taking this part of the spine, lifting and then arching it back 
Okay. Yeah, it feels different. Yeah, feel yeah. different. So play around with that if you're not sure. If you end up on the back of your sofa, you are levering. So we're getting still stretched, but not quite the kind that we're after. Think about lifting chest up and then arching back. It's quite hard to come back up as well. Yeah. Now, how does that feel in your back? Yeah, tight. It's quite hard work. Yeah. Yeah, even for me. Okay, do two more for me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Right. So yeah, try yeah. to push the hips forwards. Yeah. And then just taking the upper body. Try not to take your head up too much. Drop chin. There you go. Yeah. Come so back. middle of my back is is where I'm feeling that. Yeah. So keep the hips forwards. Yeah. Lean and lean and lean in. Relax. And now you can take yourself all the way back down onto your cushions, arms overhead, and give yourself a nice big long stretch. How does that feel? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. So forward and back. If you need more of the extension, then feel free to do that, but we're gonna finish off with a couple of twisting movements. Okay, so we need with the spine, forwards and back, twisty, twisty, and actually lateral as well. Okay, so come up. Oh, sorry. Seated, knees are bent. You're gonna twist, so into a side, into a rotation, please. Hands going with me. Uh, yep. So as we go round, try and avoid bringing that front shoulder so that you collapse through the chest. You want to imagine that there's a straight line from shoulder to shoulder and you're literally just rotating the torso. You're tight, aren't you? Mm, I am. That's because okay. of that workout we did mm. this morning. Okay, come around the other side. So open through the torso. Shoulders are square. Good. Yep. Here we go again to the other side. Now keep your knees facing forward. And again to the other side, last one here. That's why I need to do yoga, isn't it? It is, yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, come back to centre. Now, finishing off, arm up into the air. Keep the body pretty much where it is. I want you to take your wrist that's in the air, point it to the ceiling, really press high, and then pull that arm higher. So you've lifted now out through your shoulder blade. Your ribs and your hips, we're going to separate them out and we're going to do that by literally tilting the top portion of the body. So you'll notice I held on to Chris's waist so his hips stayed where they were. But can you feel that from under your armpit to the top of your hips? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's a very small movement but it's going to give you a really beautiful stretch down the length of the body and it's also going to stretch it laterally through your spine. Okay, come to the other side. So let's go. The arm goes up, we lift through the arm, perfect. Hip and waist stays where it is and you tilt. Nice, so did you see it wasn't that big a move? It wasn't big, but does it feel big? Mm -hmm. Good, we're gonna do one more on each side and then you girls are done. Okay, we love the spine, we've gotta love the spine and it needs to move, okay? Your back must move. If you have backache, and I know lots of people do, Movement is your medicine. All right. Movement is your medicine. Yeah, that's pretty cheesy, wasn't it? I love it. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, hinge. You're much tighter that side, aren't I you? I am. I get cramp as well on my left side when I do it this way. Do you? Yeah. So you get cramp there. On the on the on the left side of my back. Come back. Left side. So lift. Really lift. And that. Yeah. Up, up. Uh, yeah, that's tight and it hurts. <laughs> Can you breathe? Mm, just a bit. <laughs> All right, girls and boys, thank you so much oh. for watching. That is a move with me mobilization through your spine. Oh, oh, you're getting <laughs> stretch, stretch sweats. sweats. <laughs> the stretch sweats. Maybe you are at home as well. Really great. You could do that every day. Mm. It will take you a few minutes, and I tell you what, it will really help with mobility of your back. And if you can improve the mobility of your back, you can improve the mobility everywhere else. It will really make a, really make a big difference. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for joining me, and um, see you again later. Bye. Bye for now. Bye bye bye. I'm gonna just have a quick nosy as to who joined in. We got Margaret. Was that good for you, Margaret? Anne was watching. Lou. James, James, did you do that? Izzy, Izzy, that one would be really good for you, my lovely. Alison, Kerry, Danny and Jane. Good, all right, girls, hope you enjoyed it. Sarah, you've just joined. 